I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content at Telecom TV, and you're watching NFV Evolution, brought to you by Etsy, produced by Telecom TV, and sponsored by Huawei. Well, joining me now is Bruno Chatras, who is Senior Standardization Manager at Orange and Chairman of the Etsy NFV ISG. Hello, Bruno. Very good to see you again. Now, we're going to talk in more detail about the current status of the NFV ISG work and the next steps. But first, let me ask you why you decided to organize this event now. Yeah, this, uh, this event uh, actually comes at the right moment. Uh, it was not uh, scheduled this week uh, by chance. Uh, 2021 uh, is the, the year where we will start uh, shaping the uh, the contents of our fifth uh, specification release, uh, NLV release five. So this is really the, the right moment to, to discuss the future, to understand uh, uh, how far our standards have been implemented. And on the top of that, uh, uh, next year will be um, the 10th anniversary of uh, publication of the uh, first white paper on NFV that uh, led to the creation of this uh, ISG. So this is really the, the right moment for this event. And Bruno, what do you hope to achieve from this event? What are the main goals of the event? So there are multi multiple goals and um, different people will get different things from, from this event. First, the, the speakers, the, who will be involved in the presentations or in the panel discussions. They, they, they have with this event an opportunity to, to get their ideas closer to standardization work. Then the, for the audience, it's an opportunity to collect a, a huge amount of information on different aspects. It's a, an opportunity to understand what is the status of uh, large-scale NFV deployments, uh, an opportunity to learn what are the foreseen use cases and new use cases and new requirements that uh, NFV standards are likely to have to, to address in the coming years, in the coming releases. Also an opportunity to understand how uh, technology technology advances in domains uh, such as uh, automation or, or cloud computing or, or virtualization in general, how these, these advances can are likely to, to impact uh, the next generation of the NFV technology. So there are many, many, many things that the audience will learn from this event. And of course, for, for the objective uh, as well for this ISG, for this Etsy group, is to get feedback uh, from the industry on what we are doing and what the industry wants us to do. And this is why I said this is an indirect connection with the fact that we are uh, now shaping the contents of NFV release 5. Now, the industry is working in challenging conditions and circumstances. We'd all love to meet face to face, but the work has to continue. So how have you structured this event? So this is a... This is an online event, and this is, of course, a direct uh, consequence of uh, what you have uh, just uh, uh, alluded to. This is a, a two-part event. So the, the first part is a set of uh, recorded presentations that are already available online, and I hope many people have already seen them. There are six technical presentations that were selected uh, uh, from a list of proposals that we received in, in response to an open call. And uh, we are very pleased to see that we received the proposals for, from various uh, parts of uh, NAV industry, operators, vendors, but also academia. Uh, in addition to these six uh, presentations, uh, we have uh, three uh, open source communities that uh, have uh, explained how they, their activities are related to uh, the Etsy NFV uh, specifications and how they see the, the future of the relation between these communities and Etsy. So this is the first part. The second part is today. 
So after this uh, the discussion with, that we are having uh, together now, there will be two panel discussions. One focusing on uh, implementation experience and uh, pain points faced face by companies having implemented NFV on a large scale basis. And the second panel will uh, gather all uh, the participants, uh, all the presenters, the people who have presented the, uh, the technical uh, material that has been already uploaded, as I said. And the, this panel will uh, be a, an opportunity for them to exchange their point of view, but also an opportunity for the audience to raise any question they may have, because there will be a live Q&A session Yes, and as you say, we do have a live Q&A programme coming up, so I urge all viewers to send in their questions now and we'll try and answer them during that programme. Bruno, let's move on to the technical work that's been done at the Etsy NFV ISG. What is the progress of NFV Release 4? So uh, NFV Release 4 is really the, the, central, uh, the central point uh, today for, for our ISG. We already uh, completed uh, uh, a lot uh, end of last year, since we we published a set of uh, specifications on uh, requirements for evolving the NFV uh, management and orchestration framework to support uh, containerized VNFs. Uh, and so now we are working on the specification of solutions addressing this, uh, these requirements. This includes, for example, working on uh, uh, enhancements to the Tosca model for VNF descriptors or profiling uh, Kubernetes APIs and a number of uh, related uh, aspects. Um, so be, be, besides the, this work on uh, containers, uh, that, that is a, a very uh, critical uh, aspect uh, of release 4, besides that, we, we are about to uh, complete uh, a number of uh, uh, technical studies, uh, pre-standardization studies, I would say, by the end of, of June on various aspects such as uh, uh, autonomous how to apply uh, autonomous networking concepts to NFV management and orchestration, more work, uh, new work on policy uh, modeling, uh, another item that uh, we are studying is the, the, the development of a, a specification of generic uh, uh, management functions that can be uh, uh, provided uh, as uh, uh, generic components for use by uh, virtualized network functions. So there are many things that are ongoing. Uh, and so the, these, uh, these pre-standardization studies, as I said, will be completed, many of them uh, ahead of June. It means that starting from that, we will start developing the actual uh, standards for uh, addressing the, the, the issues that have been identified during the, these pre-standardization studies. So overall, we will be running, uh, we will be working in parallel on the completion of release 4 at, uh, in the second half of this, uh, of this year. And at the same time, uh, we will start uh, working on uh, release 5. And as you say, you're working in parallel, completing 4 and starting uh, release 5. So Looking ahead, what would you say are the, are the next important steps for NFV Release 5? This event is taking place in, in parallel with one of our plenary meetings. And during this meeting, we are launching the process for collecting proposals from our members, from our participants, proposals on the features they, they, they think should be addressed within the scope of uh, Release 5. And uh, that's actually why uh, this, this event is also an input to, 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 to this process. 
Uh, so we are we will uh, we we are starting the process. That means that uh, our members and our participants will st start uh, submitting proposals that uh, we will uh, further discuss uh, through electronic means, of course, and we we will likely have a. Uh, a formal uh, conference call uh, in June to agree uh, on uh, upon a set of features that uh, must be addressed uh, in release five. From that, uh, we will create uh, a number of uh, official work items that will be really the, uh, the description, the contents of the so-called release release five and. Uh, if everything goes as we are expecting, the, the actual work will start in uh, in September. Uh, the actual technical work will start in September. Well, Bruno, we do uh, look forward to seeing what work items um, get included in the Release 5 work. But for now, thank you very much for joining us on the programme today. And as Bruno said, we have a range of content available for you to watch as part of the NFE Evolution programme series. There are several technical presentations and an in-depth panel discussion on the operational experience and pain points of NFE. That's about to start in just a few moments time. And we also have a live Q&A discussion program in about 45 minutes. So please submit your questions and we'll try and answer as many as we can. And you can access all the presentations on demand here on Telecom TV. Coming up next though is our NFE panel discussion. Don't go away.